What are the best supplements? Or do you even need supplements? Stay tuned and I'll explain. Hey, I'm Dr. Eckberg with Wellness for Life. And by subscribing to this channel, you will learn everything that you need to master true health. Today we're gonna to talk about supplements. And there is so much confusion and so much misunderstanding about what they are. First of all, we wanna start understanding what is the purpose of supplements. We want to talk about four different categories of things that people take. On the one side we have nutrition and on the other side we have pharmaceuticals. I put those opposites because they serve absolutely totally opposite functions. And then in between we have herbs and nutraceuticals. So what's the difference? Well nutrition is that which sustains life. Nutrition is that which comes from life. It is all the stuff that Mother Nature has produced that we have developed alongside for millions and millions of years. So just like there is no scientist in the world that can create life or that can create a single cell, there is no scientist in the world that can have a test tube and produce things that sustain life that is the area of mother nature. So it doesn't mean that these things aren't good at some point. So nutrition is food and we want to get as much nutrition as possible from whole food. Unfortunately, we don't really get enough anymore because they're even the best of efforts. Uh, even if we buy all organic food, the soil has been depleted, the minerals just aren't there anymore, the food has to be transported, we don't know exactly what went on in producing it, there's so much hybridization and GMO going on, that with all of that, even the best of efforts may not give us all the nutrition that we need. So it's a good idea to supplement. But when we do, we want to look for things that are made from food concentrates. It is very difficult to find, and I'll clarify a little bit uh, what to look for, but you want something that is made from whole food concentrate, that has all of the vitamin complexes, all of the mineral complexes, all of the genuine replacement parts that you need to rebuild your body, all right? The next category is herbs, herbal therapy. We use a lot of it in our office and that's when we're looking for a little bit stronger effect. The body may not be ready for healing. It may need some cleansing, it may need some support or some stimulation in some other way and herbs can do that. They're a form of natural medicine that can go in and change and, and alter things at a subtle level. They are made uh, by nature, so they uh, are also very natural and they work with the body. However, they are not the genuine replacement part. They are not the thing that's gonna help rebuild the body. So we look for them only in, in certain circumstances. The next category is nutraceuticals, and this is what most people get when they go shopping for supplements. 98% of everything sold in vitamin stores are nutraceuticals. They were developed by pharmaceutical companies who managed to isolate and extract what they believe to be the critical component of a vitamin. But it's only part of a vitamin. It's not the vitamin complex. It is a small crystalline fraction of the whole thing and as such it can stimulate it can do some good for a limited time but again it does not sustain life it is not the thing that the body is looking for you want to think of the difference between a complex and the synthetic as the complex being a tree and the synthetic fraction being a part of a tree maybe a leaf or a piece of bark or something and it can help for a little bit, but it creates problems in the long run. The last on the list is pharmaceuticals. And there's a place for them, but they are the most powerful. They are completely synthetic. 
and their job is, their purpose is to interfere. They are supposed to go in and block some physiology. When the physiology, for whatever reason, has gone haywire, a pharmaceutical is strong enough to go in and block it and stop it and create a short-term desired effect. All right, that's the purpose of these things. Well, nutrition, like we mentioned, is made by Mother Nature. It's things that are alive. Herbs are also made by Mother Nature. They're things that are alive. They have all natural properties. Nutraceuticals are made in a lab. Most of them are made from synthetic products or from petroleum, like coal tar. Most B vitamins are made from petroleum coal tar product. A lot of vitamin C, which is not actually vitamin C, but ascorbic acid is made from corn starch. They're made in a laboratory setting. They're crystalline partial fractions of the real thing. And of course, pharmaceuticals are synthetic. They're made in a lab. So on that note, here's the time frame for these things. Nutrition works forever. That's the food and the food concentrate because that is what sustains the body that's what sustains life it works forever and what we find is the nutrients that we use the supplements that are whole food supplements people do well on them for a very very long time herbs like i mentioned in the beginning we use them for special circumstances they're not intended for long-term use but they do have their place once they have done their job, then we try to switch over to get more of our nutrients from food and whole food supplements. Nutraceuticals go in and they do something quickly. And over time, what happens with a nutraceutical is because it's a fraction, it sort of senses, it has a, a relationship to the things that it used to hang out with. So when you take a nutraceutical, when you take a fractional supplement into your body, it's going to attract the other portions that it used to hang out with. And now you're in essence leaching those cofactors from your body. And therefore in the long run, something like ascorbic acid, which isn't actually vitamin C, but a fraction of it, ascorbic acid can create a vitamin C deficiency and today we're seeing a lot of things that is actually scurvy but that go by other names so any type of nosebleed or fragile gums or retinal bleeding or weak varicose veins and things like that spider veins a lot of those things are a deficiency in the vitamin C complex and we're not getting enough of it and we can actually deplete ourselves by using mega doses of ascorbic acid. Pharmaceuticals, finally, there is a place for it, but it's for crisis intervention only. If you're trying to save a life, if someone has a bleeding, if someone has a shock, if there's an emergency, there's a time for it. But in the long run, crisis intervention will do more damage than good, always. So now you're starting to see that that which is natural supports the body, that which is synthetic interferes with the body. Side effects go along with that. So things that nature made, that's the stuff that's supposed to sustain life. It has no side effects. It's the thing that builds life. Herbs are very, very limited in side effects. They do have some medicinal properties, so side effects are possible, but they're very, very limited. Synthetic supplements look really good initially, and a lot of people, they, when they're extremely deficient, they start taking something, and then they feel great, and they swear by it, and they say, oh, I'll take this for the rest of my life. And then a few months later, they start crashing, but they stay on it because they felt so good initially. Well, those are side effects that start to develop. So nutraceuticals typically develop some side effects over time. And of course, a pharmaceutical always has a side effect. By its very design and mechanism, once you go into an ecosystem and you push something, you're going to upset the balance, you're going to have a side effect. Now that doesn't make them evil, 
uh, in an emergency they can be very useful and save lives but we have to understand the appropriate time and place and that they always have side effects so their short-term use only we have to change the way that we're thinking when I look on the internet I see millions and millions of questions and answers and they're always the same I have this what do I take for this and someone answers if you have that then take that that is not how it works because even though something works for one person it doesn't mean it's gonna work for you because the source of the problem could have a different origin and also we never ever want to get into the habit of taking supplements because they're supposed to do something they're not supposed to change a symptom they're not supposed to work they're supposed to provide the building blocks they're supposed to support life if you're missing something and you provide it you get healthier you, you want to get out of the mindset of taking something for something that's just using a safer drug uh, one with less side effects sure you could take a nutraceutical or an herb and there's less side effects but you haven't fixed the source of the problem we have to start understanding the body and supporting physiology and getting to the source of the problem I hope you enjoyed this little explanation I know it's very different and we will keep getting good and different information so that you can understand it from a different perspective Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified for future videos. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, you know where to put them right down below and we will do our very best to look at them and address them. Thank you.